Hi, my name is Sylvie. I am a certified health coach and yoga instructor. And today I wanted to share how I lost weight after 40. I'm going to start by explaining a little bit about my journey, showing you some before and after pictures. And then I'm going to share my four step formula to kickstart your weight loss journey after 40. So let's start with my journey. I always struggled with food cravings, particularly sugar cravings, but I somehow managed to keep my weight mostly under control until about the age of 40 because I was cooking almost all my foods from scratch and my diet was very healing and I was avoiding inflammatory foods. So basically throughout my childbearing years, I only gained 15 pounds. But when I turned 40, I didn't change anything and somehow then I managed to gain another 15 pounds within a year and that's when I started panicking and thinking I gotta find something that works. I have to deal with this situation. By that point I also felt like I was a slave to food because my food cravings were out of control. I couldn't really stick to any type of weight loss diet. I mean, I stuck pretty well to healing protocols because there are ways to make sweets and desserts using healthier ingredients. But when it came to really trying to reduce my calorie consumption and take control of my food cravings, I felt like I was powerless. And also I spent tons of time in the kitchen cooking everything from scratch. I spent lots of money following expensive meal plans and healing protocols. And I found this to be really problematic. So what changed? How did I go from not being able to stick to anything and feeling like I was a slave to my food cravings and to expensive diets? Well, the number one thing that changed is that I had discovered a way that allowed me to not have to rely on willpower alone to succeed in my weight loss journey. And that was through fasting, both intermittent fasting and what I call modified fasting. When I discovered what it meant to become fat adapted, <laughs> I realized that I could be free from my food cravings and that I didn't have to rely on willpower alone. I could feel amazing even if I went without food. I could eat a nice satisfying meal without feeling like I had to eat something sweet after my meal. So how long did it take me to lose 30 pounds after 40? Well, it took two years and that is an important factor to consider as you plan your own weight loss protocol. I never recommend that you go for a fast weight loss. And so I went slow and steady. And over the course of two years, I was able to lose 30 pounds, get back to my pre-pregnancy weight, feel amazing in the process and experience true food freedom. And I have been at that weight for over a year and I fast much less, but I still don't have to give that much thought to my food. Uh, my desire for food doesn't consume me the same way it used to. I enjoy food, I enjoy eating, but it is a more peaceful relationship because I have discovered this new ability to tune into my body now that it isn't sending me confused signals anymore. So before I explain how I did this and how you can achieve this for yourself, let me show you some before after photos. Here, uh, the before photo is from three years ago and uh, that is after I gained 15 pounds in one year after the age of 40. And the after photo is when I was done losing weight doing my weight loss protocol. Also, I wanted to show you part of my protocol was to take advantage of body weight workouts to tone my body and define my waist. And here, as you can see on that before picture, I was done losing weight, but my muscle tone wasn't so great. I had a very weak core. And so I decided to really start focusing on that, which you can see on the after picture. And if you want to see a couple more before and afters and some testimonials, check the link in the description below where you'll see the blog post and where you'll find more information. So how can you lose weight after 40? 
Well, as I mentioned already, the first thing to do is to become fat adapted. That is how you're going to teach your body to stop relying solely on glucose for energy. That is also how you avoid feeling weak and unwell when you go without food for more than three hours. And then you're gonna pick your fasting method. What you want to do is pick a fasting method that trains your body to switch back and forth from using glucose to ketones for energy. So that requires a little bit of biohacking as you will be using a ketone monitor and discovering the ketone level that is optimal for you as well as what fasting window enables you to reach that level. Next, you're gonna define your waist Everyone is looking to lose belly fat, but you can't spot reduce fat. You can just lose belly fat. However, you can work out in a way that will define your waist. And also as you are fasting, that is a stress on your body, just like calorie restriction is or carb restriction would be. You wanna mitigate how much stress you're putting on your body. And that's why I enjoy gentler forms of body weight workouts that are inspired by yoga. And lastly, <laughs> the best of the stages, you're going to implement maintenance mode. After reaching your goal weight, you're going to settle on a fasting and exercise routine that makes you feel amazing while not making you lose more weight. That's how you do it. That's how you can lose weight even after 40. I put all the information to follow this protocol exactly, plus all the tools that you need in one package that I call my weight loss transformation. And I also offer coaching if you think you need more accountability and some guidance to personalize the approach and find your fasting window. So if that's something you want to look into, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find that information as well. You can get rid of your food cravings and feel amazing and discover true food freedom. That's what I did and that's why I help my clients do and I would love to help you do the same thing.